Okay, this is uh, Duncan Fuller and uh, we're going to uh, do a tutorial on uh, linking uh, input output ports uh, into our program. Uh, this comes with the, uh, the booklet uh, available on uh, my backup. <coughs> so we're going to create a, a, a new application. Um, let's call this uh, sensor. It's okay. Just close this input output port. So I know I'm definitely working on sensor. Just check that I've not got any others. Well, Open all the right ones just to ensure I don't accidentally start working in the wrong one. So I've got a sensor uh, area and I'm going to uh, paste the program in. So the program says uh, reset uh, all the motion, move to our safe point, the J start with a tool. Uh, we're going to have to define the tool at a speed of M fast. Remember, this is a new application, so we're going to have to define all of these variables again. And then uh, it's going to do while end while, and the, uh, the condition is while something is true, and the true is, is, comes from this uh, digital input sensor. So while that is true, carry on doing this. So if we have a switch that switches on, then keep doing that. Okay, uh, which is to go to uh, P pick approach, go to P pick, go uh, back up to approach, go and go to place, uh, and and carry on doing that until the switch changes to false. Okay, uh, for our example, it's going to default to false, so we're going to have to go in and manually change it within uh, the software. So uh, let's go through this. So we know we need to define J star as a joint uh, T tool. Tool kind of right to get these done in order. So it's just so there's a tool, and we know that the tool handle is there. Copy the data, and we can paste that in there. Make sure we uh, change the uh, open and close values. Go back to our program. M fast, that's a motion descriptor. It's, it's, it's appeared in here now. Uh, let's go down. Now uh, let's uh, do our P pick. Yep. T shift is uh, for our offset value, so I'm going to define that as minus 50 as usual. So it's come in here, Z minus 50. Note that you can do it in X, Y, and Z and uh, rotations. Define a slow motion descriptor, and then we need the one we haven't done let's just check yeah so we've got uh, T shift um, okay well, what it's doing here is telling me that T shift 2 is uh, invalid because I've accidentally uh, st stuck the value as a tool and it's not a tool at all it's a translation so let's uh, delete this go back to T shift 2 add new value and I must have said okay to that and it's TR SF, there it is. And type minus 50 in there. Check syntax. So the only thing that's now um, questioning is this uh, DI sensor. Because it starts with DI when I do add new data, it's automatically going to the digital input outputs, and that is that's absolutely fine. Okay. Okay, we have two positions to define now. We've got the P pick and the P uh, place. Um, so let's go to the geometry tab, make sure I'm in sensors. Uh, P pick. I'm going to get the base. Right click, uh, go to Cartesian. 
don't think I need this anymore, so I'll just get rid of that. Uh, the position it's in now is fine for PPEC, so I'm going to say here. Move the robot around a little bit over here. So it's, well, it's going to place things, so it's here. And I need to uh, define the uh, J start as well, so let's just pick that up and say here let's make sure the, yeah, the flange has been defined here okay so we've uh, defined everything in our program uh, we just need to uh, set the uh, DI, di sensor um, system up so let's just close that back down okay we'll go to the data tab now go and find our di sensor there it is okay so if we uh, double click this and it's telling us uh, that we've got uh, a sensor, it's called DI sensor and uh, we haven't set up uh, the input port so let's just double click on that. Here we go. And uh, we want it in the basic input output. It's going to be uh, an input and let's put it on uh, uh, this one so if we double click there so we've defined the uh, the input value for the the robot okay let's go to the program make sure we've defined everything everything looks okay if we run the program now because the DR sensor is defaults to false it won't run uh, so what we're going to do to we need to run it to debug it to change the sensor to true so let's go to the controller right click and uh, show emulator I'm going to switch to the 3d view I'll switch on the robot, switch the simulation on. Go to application, return for Val 3, go and find the sensor. And if you run that sensor, it's not doing anything. It's because, remember, they, they are, it's waiting for uh, the input port to change to true. And so with the emulator still running, Uh, we'll uh, go to the debug option. So uh, let's move this here. Right click, and what we want to do is go to the debug, and we're going to debug using the emulator. What you should should end up with is the uh, the task manager and we don't want the local we want the uh, the watcher so the watcher so we have we're currently running the input output port so click on the the button next to the sensor there this should open up uh, suspend task so we're going to look at the di sensor and we're going to add a watch so we've now got we've been watching the sensor its current value is undefined so if we click on here so it's now true now I've got the db wonder open let's go to the debug window I'll stop the debug and now we can um, OK go to the uh, application stop it OK run the application again move and now it it does do what we said because we've switched the uh, the sensor to true
so we can actually see it's true here. If we then change this to false, when it gets round to that part of the program, it will stop. And if we want to switch it back on, it's ruins again. Okay, hope uh, that was okay for you. Thanks a lot.